Very good morning, my esteemed and gentlemen. Today we are going to speak about the Copyright Act. The Copyright Act of 1957 has been recently amended in the year 1994 by Act 38 of 1994, which has come into effect on 10th May 1995. now this copyright act is quite interesting and it is going to speak about the right which a person has got over his own original work the copyright act mainly concentrates on preserving and protecting one's own original work from being copied by others a person's right to own his own original work a person's right to enjoy the work that has arisen out of his creative intellectual ability is actually spoken to in the copyright act now a person has got every right to protect preserve and ensure that others do not interfere and copy the work which has emanated from out of his hard labor so it is only the owner who has created the work out of his own creative and originality has got a right to duplicate it or to make copies as much as possible to grant license for the use of his work by others on consideration and he has got a very right to translate the creative work of this into any other language and so on so forth so the copyright act consists of a lot of niceties and nuances which one must be capable of appreciating it and understanding it there are various types of copyrights of which i am going to speak today now so far as the types of copyrights are concerned you have got copyrights over the following namely any work arising out of literature any work relating to dramas and music that is composed and artistic work so the first type of creative work on which copyright could be claimed is considered to be work on literature dramatic scenes or dramas that has been written and uh, produced or enacted and musical pieces emanating out of notes and any artistic work relating to paintings drawings engravings so on so forth now under the second category we have cinematographic work the third category comes under sound recording so far as original work relating to literature is concerned literature work means 
computer programs including tables compilations with computer database programs etc they signify instructions expressed in words codes schemes or any other form including a machine readable medium which is capable of causing the task to be performed by the computer now electronic device for importing information processing also form and other aspects relating to literary work this is covered under section 2a literature as usual includes prose poetry and other essays no drama the dramatic work includes any part of the work or scene choreography work or dumb show but does not include cinematographic cinematographic film film now coming to musical work it is nothing but an integrated piece of work arising out of lyric with notation tunes with the background of accompaniments predominated by the voice of the singer following the direction of the composer so you understand music is not noise music is nothing but a composition or rather a comprehension of several notes these notes are actually produced by accompaniments like violin then you have got uh, flute so many other instruments guitar harmonium so many instruments but in these instruments you will find of late the instruments when they are duplicated or multiplied when there are so many violins and so many flutes and so many drums are actually made to sing according to the notes when they are completely operated according to the notes that are given to produce a music piece it is known as symphony of late symphony has become very popular particularly in western music you will find this concept symphony to be very popular the guitar as well as violin so many violins with regard to its number produces beautiful tunes which are predominated by the music that is sung by a few people during christmas you find choir they sing songs in praise of jesus a lot of instruments that's why i am being reminded of shakespeare's beautiful quotation on music the man that hath no the man that hath no music in himself nor is not moved by the concord of sweet sounds is fit for present stratagems and spoils his spirit is as dark as erebus let no such man be trusted music as i said earlier is not noise it's a question of combination of several vibrations coming out of instrument in the form of noise which is 
being converted and translated and transformed into beautiful music. So, the composer, he plays a predominant role. So, a musical work, you find it's not a, a simple piece of work. Your music should convey meaning. That is why lyric plays an important part. The lyric is actually the framework on which the body is built. I should humorously say the lyric is nothing but a body and the jivan, the spirit is music. Without lyric, there cannot be music. And without music, the lyric cannot be remembered and repeated and recollected. Now the question came up in a beautiful discussion on a TV program. I am very much tempted to explain and narrate this event to you. In Tamil, Field, there is a famous musician expert and great music composer, Mr. Elaya Raja. I happened to hear in one of the programs when a person was asking a question to him, Sir, I want to know whether music is important or lyric is important. While replying this question, the great composer said, both of them are important. There cannot be spirit without substance. Substance without spirit is inert. He was just narrating one example that uh, how yeah, <coughs> a dry lyric, a lyric which is purely literature <coughs> and uh, which is considered to be of a very high standard which cannot convey any meaning for a person like a common man. So, he was just narrating an instance where a famous poet in Tamil known as Mr. Great Kannadasi, he wrote the lyric. For example, he was giving this illustration. Tamarai Poovil Manadinai Vaitte See, we just narrate this particular lyric. This is a mere narration, it is prosaic. It has no, no doubt it conveys some meaning, but you cannot recollect and remember it. But when this was actually given to M.S. Vishwanathan, who is a famous composer of music, he actually composed it in the form of a music. <laughs> தூக்கம் <laughs> Well, of course, 
I have attempted to narrate this in the form of music to you. Probably there may be a little bit of flaw in that. But you find when once a music is added to the lyric, you find it is very easy for you to remember the lyric very easily. Chinna chinna ase, siraga dikka ase, muttu muttu ase, mudhendu vanda ase, vennila vai tottu, ूस and still it is ringing in our ears so you find a musical work is nothing but the result of a person who writes the lyric a music composer who with the various accompaniments is able to fragment the various notes in the form of a beautiful melodious music and he has got to search for the right person to sing this piece of music and in the appropriate situation situation is very very important in a lamenting situation you cannot uh, sing a song with full of energy and mirth and joy so according to the sequence of the scene the music has got to be synchronized so if you just uh, go and just uh, watch as a passive observer when a film is actually produced you will understand how mighty this task is it's not easy to take a film first of all story has got to be written that story has got to be converted in the form of dialogue and uh, a drama scene sequential events and then the scenes have got to be decided and how the scenes have got to be once again combined and what are all the places suited for taking this program and the cameraman has got to contribute his work and the conversation style and the various background everything you see so such a beautiful task which consists of niceties and nonces and it's not very easy for a person to take a film a film producer is different from a director the director is the person who takes the entire responsibility it's not ordinary responsibility it is considered to be a onerous onerous in law we say onerous means burdensome onerous and vicarious responsibility vicarious like responsibility means for anything which goes wrong the director is responsible whenever we find a picture not up to the mark or up to the standard we only blame the director vicarious like responsibility so here the music piece and then we have got the work artistic work artistic work paintings drawings even in cinematograph uh, parlance you will find the arts also plays arts play a very important role the scenes are got to be drawn and uh, pictures ordinary paintings they are all they fall under the category artistic work, photographs artistic now artistic work cinematograph films and then you have got sound recording sound recording means the aggregate of sounds from out of which a combination of sounds integrated irrespective of medium or method which is used for producing the say section 2 sub class 20 the entire range of copyright should be graphically described 
as under. I will give you the chart. I will just ask him to just take a, an extract of that chart. You can understand the various categories which come under these uh, uh, classifications. Namely, the classifications of literary work, dramatic works, musical work, artistic work, cinematography and sound recording. So these are the various uh, categories which come under the literary work. The next question that is to be answered is who can acquire the copyright? What is copyright? Copyright is a right to take copies from the original work. A right to grant license with regard to the original work. Right, a right which authorizes a person to use one's own original work is what is known as license. Now, I would like to describe the difference between the license and grant. License is nothing but giving authority to a person to do an act which he cannot normally do without the permission of the owner. Supposing I am owning a house which consists of mango trees and the mangoes are actually given by the trees and they are all hanging on the branches of the tree. A person wants to take my permission to pluck those mangoes. Sir, shall I just pluck these mangoes for use in my house? So now I permit him. All right, you take one or two mangoes. Now I am giving him a right to pluck the mangoes. Sir, shall I take uh, ten mangoes to my house? Yes, you can take it. This is what is known as grant. Plucking the mangoes an act for which permission is required and I am authorizing him to pluck this, these mangoes. And then not only I give him a right to pluck these mangoes but also give him by way of gift these mangoes and allow him to take it to his home. This is what is known as grant. So it is only the original person who has created the work he alone has got a right to grant license, to take copies from his work or to translate his work or to make use of his work. So this is what is known as copyright, a right which a person enjoys over his own work, this copyright. Now who can acquire this copyright? Any person who has been the creator, producer or a person who has been responsible for his work, intellectual work, he alone enjoys a right over his own work. This is what is known as copyright. Now you find the law is not able to keep pace with these types of subtle rights. The subtlety of these rights has gained a lot of significance. It is very difficult to explain the various ways in which the original work is copied and plagiarism is practiced. What is plagiarism? Humorously it is said, when you copy any work, for example a person copies Ditto, the work that has actually been done by others. We in uh, common parlance say, I say, why are you copying? This is a copy of the ex exact thing that has been produced by so and so. It is a copy. This so when you copy any work from other person's work, this is what is known as plagiarism. But that is why it has been said uh, very humorously. When uh, a person copies only from one book, 
his uh, interpretation this is what is known as plagiarism but when he copies from several books say about 20 or 50 or 60 books it is known as thesis so thesis you know is nothing but a combination of several uh, views expressed by several others well that is permitted it is a research work even in uh, if you just take literary work in research you are reviewing a matter in a different way viewing a matter in a different way so discover what has already been covered you are actually discovering it. but here research is you are doing an in depth study of a particular subject and research research so you find that uh, in literature you have got interpretative thesis and innovative thesis interpretative thesis thesis is actually interpreting it sometimes we may not be we will be understanding meaning in common parlance what are the inner meanings in it the inner implications that is done with the uh, research bent of mind so you find in literature lot of things are likewise if you take a cinema you have got a story or fiction from which you have got to extract the dialogue and then you have got to write the dialogue sequences the various scenes have got to be decided settings have got to be decided and uh, where the picture has got to be taken shooting where it should take place and who is the right person to take up the role so these are all matters which are to be uh, systematically analyzed studied in depth and finally a beautiful film is produced this is what is known as cinematographic technology now coming to who can acquire a copyright i was just uh, explaining to you as to who can attain copyright copyrights according to section 17 the author of any work shall be the first owner of the copyright this would include ownership in respect of literary dramatic and artistic photographic address or speech delivered before the public so original work means what a work that has emanated from out of one's own creative ability we should have novelty originality anything which has got novelty originality and unique feature in it and which has come out of one zone ability mental ability that is what is known as original work sometimes the work which i am now speaking about may be rendered by a person under the direction of somebody else where a person employs an artist or a music composer or a musician under his control in the process of producing a film well the person who serves under the producer he is only receiving remuneration and becomes an employee so no doubt uh, invariably we find even in computer programming lot of uh, software engineers hardware engineers they happen to work in a big organization and uh, in the course of their employment they may be able to invent and produce lot of creative things with novelty and usability and merchantability so when any of this product emanating out of their wisdom when that is produced the right to dispose of that particular intellectual product vests with the producer and not with the person who has been responsible for its creation 
even while entering into an agreement under the employer the employer will ensure that the agreement is provided with a clause which will stipulate that the entire work that is done by the employee shall belong to the owner and the owner alone has got a right to dispose of that particular piece of work well this depends upon the agreement that is mutually entered into upon between the employer and the employee that aspect of it we must be able to understand it that is adequately provided in section 17 of the copyright act so that you must uh, take note of it on the other hand if one is serving under the direction or supervision as an employee either under a contract or permanent service he is then said to be doing the work for the other in the latter case where job or work done by him the resultant product would automatically belong to the master or employer generally in such cases as stated above the service terms and conditions imposed by the employer on the employee will bind the employee in his work hence in such cases the employer will be the owner of such copyright Section 2D of the Act defines author. Who is the author? Author in relation to literary or dramatic work is the author who has produced that work. The man who has been responsible for producing the work. In relation to musical work, the composer. In respect of artistic work, other than a photographer, the artist. in relation to a photography the person taking the photograph primarily and if any person is engaged as an employee as a photographer then the person who has been uh, who has employed this photographer to do the work he shall have the entire right over the product in relation to cinematography film or sound recording the producer in relation to any literary dramatic musical or artistic work which is produced by a computer then the person who has created that work so in the case of sound recording done at the instance of a director working under a film producer then in such cases the film producer is said to be the author of the copyright gp films private limited versus prathik choudhary that if there is intellectual contribution by two or more persons for production of an intellectual work then the contributors are jointly regarded as the joint owners of the copyright najma abdullah versus oriental longman limited there is no question of vesting of copyright in the books in a joint family or partnership unless a member who is the owner of a copyright assigns or licenses grants license to the other persons so these are the general popular uh, leading cases that has been uh, cited for explaining the person who enjoys the copyright now ownership of copyright in respect of literary dramatic artistic work in all the above subject matter obviously the author of the work is no doubt the person who enjoys the right to over the work which he has created he alone enjoys the copyright however if the work is done under a contract of service in the course of employment the proprietor of the newspaper for example will be deemed to be the employer let me narrate this supposing a person is employed as sub editor in a newspaper concern he is asked to interview a famous political leader and he goes there and uh, he puts lot of questions his ingenuity in giving comments and preparation of various questions and the way in which he has Uh, edited the program and brought out very nicely 
for being filmatized or uh, televised well uh, this work though no doubt might have been done by him but since he is a sub editor under the control of the newspaper only the newspaper owners are considered to be the owners of these copyrights also the right to actually uh, produce the right to actually exhibit this program cannot be done by the person who has conducted the interview but only with the proprietor of the newspaper so but he i got one case if any work has been published long before the employment of the author as an employee in the work organization then his work prior to his joining the employer shall belong to the author himself author himself author only for example a person has as a cartoonist has actually produced various cartoon uh, pictures and subsequently he has uh, become an employee in a newspaper whatever uh, cartoons which he has actually drawn prior to his joining this newspaper concern the right to reproduce those uh, cartoons will vest only with the person who has produced it not by the person who has actually now employed him the not the newspaper concern so that is the case reported here as vt thomas alias toms versus malayala manorama characters created by a cartoonist boban and moli long prior to the employment of the cartoonist in the magazine was held to be the original work of the cartoonist over which he has absolute ownership over copyrights now ownership of copyright under section 17 any film produced by the producer for the purpose of telecasting it in the small screen supported by the sponsor of the serial does not empower the sponsor to enjoy full copyright over the film sponsors are different film is produced by a different person and sponsors are there to popularize their product through advertisements for example the vico laboratories claim the title of yesogai zindagi a tv serial belong to them contending that the defendant producer of the serial was an agent appointed by him so these uh, persons who are the owners of the various commercial products they employed a person to take a picture so that uh, they can advertise their product um in an effective manner so these vico lab- uh, laboratories they actually uh, made a person to take a picture yesuga zindagi which is very famous in which you find this um swarup um, sampat and irfan uh, mohammed has acted it's a very nice picture which has been televised but the rights the uh, that could be claimed over uh, the these pictures could be enjoyed only by the person responsible for producing the picture and not by the sponsors now photographs anyone who is employed to take photos for the other is regarded to be only an employee and the person who has directed him to take the picture to take the photograph he alone enjoys the right to take copies out of it there is a lot of uh, course subject to an agreement to the contrary section 17c now copyright with regard to photography arises under different circumstances where a family photo is taken by a photographer only the person who has directed him to take the photograph has got a right to enjoy the duplicating work that is why even uh, you find in uh, common uh, situations you find when once a photograph is taken the person who directed the photograph to be taken will also have a right to enjoy the right to possess 
the negative of that film so that uh, in these days this cannot be misused or uh, abused by other people by taking the negative and manipulating it so uh, he has got a right the person who has directed the and there are certain situations where a particular editor in a magazine or a newspaper may like to take uh, odd situations for example when two snakes are uh, spinning with each other and dancing well this sequence is a very rare event and uh, i have seen some pictures where a bird is also taking water along with a cat and uh, these are all rare photographs see that has got to be taken with the punctilious care and caution now if you on the other hand even an ordinary photograph can be claimed by the government for example in the case of uh, late uh, rajiv gandhi's uh, assassination by bomb blast well when one ariharan has taken a picture or it is only through this photograph they were able to catch hold of the culprit like shivarasan subha nalini murugan and others so you find this photograph was very useful that is why in uh, so many places uh, including traffic centers they have fixed uh, this uh, digital cameras so that uh, the various events that is occurring in day to day life could be taken by way of photograph and find out the person who has been responsible for the crime so this has become a very good device by means of which we are able to trace the culprit and find out the manner and method in which the crime has taken place so thanks to the use of photograph so there the government acquires the right to appropriate to seize and confiscate any photographs which are going to be of use to them so you find that the photographs are of such use when uh, the government is actually directing a person as an employee to do certain work well the government is considered to be the owner of those rights any work done by a person as an employee under the government or government department or under the direction of the government shall belong to the government similarly any work done by an employee in a public undertaking or a private enterprise then in such cases also the respective undertaking concern shall be deemed to be the first owner of these copyrights relating to that work so this is what you find now the next thing is musical work and cinematographic work in the case of cinematographic films normally producer is one who takes up the responsibility of shooting the film synchronizing the background music which includes lyric writer composer and playback singer with accompaniments and sound recording so you you find a combination of several uh, activities therefore the producer alone is said to be the first owner of all the rights pertaining to the film he is the person who employs he employs the lyric writer he employs the person who has got to compose the music he employs the person who has got to play uh, be engaged as a playback singer with accompaniments so this is what is known as the combination of several activities now you find in one case fortune films international versus devanand in this particular case what happened a picture new delhi was taken and in that particular case what happened Uh, the famous actor matney idol devanand late uh, devanand he entered into an agreement with the film, pro- film producer that he has got a lien on those films which have been taken pertaining to this uh, picture new delhi that before the films are actually exhibited in places like calcutta uh, mumbai uh, chennai and other places like uh, allahabad new delhi he should be actually paid a certain stipulated amount by way of remuneration because it so happened that the producer never paid his remuneration so this film actor 
wanted to enjoy a lien right to retain or detain this particular negative until the remuneration is paid he will not allow them to release the picture in this area so he has to pay the various sums that has got to be paid but when that person actually released this picture exhibited this picture without the permission of this so called actor then he filed a suit the court said it is only the producer who has got a right in respect of exhibiting or releasing the picture and not the actor so here the artist has absolutely no right over uh, this copies he has no copyright then what is meant by copyright copyright means be it art literature drama music including cinematography and computer program they are all said to be the basic matter on which copyright is said to exist copyright means to take duplicate copies from the original work if copies are taken dubiously from the original work which is said to be the result of a hard labor of any creator then what sort of safeguard you are going to provide for that person who has completely produced and created that work it is only for this reason precisely the copyright act has come into force now on what aspect copyrights could be claimed sir you said any work which is based on originality creativity novelty merchantability usability and all that so not even usability there need not be usability it may be a sort of a ornamental piece of uh, show piece ornamental piece of picture so you find that uh, the copyright could be claimed on original work for example paintings pictures artistic work there is a famous case in kannaiya versus balraj the entire essence of the component on which copyright could prevail has been explained ever since 1940 see kannaiya and company was making and selling the picture to the public known as mayura priya wherein the hindu lord muruga was depicted as sitting on the peacock he has been shown to be closeted on both sides by shrimati valli and shrimati devayane however mrs balraj and company was selling copies of the same pictures with same colors and poster which was the exact imitation of the pictures namely mayura priya however the latter sold it under the style balamurga so the other person defendant sold the very same identical picture with all this depiction as balamurga the original picture is named as mayura priya so the trial court in this yeah uh, suit actually was filed by the plaintiff kanaya against balraj see here you see this is the picture that has been taken by me under the caption mayura priya the other person has actually copied it when the matter was placed before the court the trial court held the trial court held uh, that there has been infringement what is infringement interference with the work of the other who has been responsible for the original work to be created so the person who has produced the original work when that work is being copied by another with the same expressions ideas and all the uh, formulations well that is what is known as infringement so the however the trial court held that it is not an infringement of the plaintiff's picture but the picture was drawn by a trained artist out of his own imagination the lower court actually held in favor of the defendant that there was no infringement but the high court of madras reversed the trial court's decision holding that the faces in the disputed picture of balamurga looked exactly like the picture mayura priya 
and decided the case in favor of the plaintiff the main point to be noted here is ideas are normally general in nature and therefore no one can claim a copyright over the ideas ideas are same any picture you take either there must be two persons uh, trying to marry the heroine who happens to be one girl or two girls trying to uh, win over the heart of a hero so here i was telling about the ideas any picture revolves around only the basic ideas the basic framework on which the entire uh, uh, um, entire story is built with a lot of actions and uh, uh, various uh, manner in which uh, the action is actually undertaken and it is exhibited so you find ideas are normally general in nature for example i'll give you a narration a gandhi you take for example the picture of gandhi well gandhi is a torn shoot head and uh, with his teeth broken well that is the normal uh, appearance well if any person wants to claim a copyright over this picture of gandhi which he has drawn now that actually depends upon the way it has actually been depicted to the public disclosed to the public for example the dhoti with gandhi which gandhi ji is wearing and the muscle twitches on his face and his eyes expressions so the various uh, uh, parts through which he is able to make the expression of gandhi's picture to be unique well that uh, on which that is an aspect on which he could claim uh, copyright so it is only the expression of the ideas and the form in which the ideas are presented that becomes the subject matter of copyright in the above uh, illustration the expression on the face of lord muruga the design of the ornaments the style in which the garments have been worn as depicted in the picture by lord muruga and his wives do become the central aspects and the main subject matter of the copyrights therefore if there is a similar expression ditto the expression has actually been borrowed from the original picture well it is a sort of infringement in photographs the photographer enjoys copyright over the same rare photos taken disclosing unexpected postures taken under rare circumstances now it must clearly be understood that the copyright act is not concerned with the commercial production of commercial articles with the help of ideas borrowed from the artist the aim of the copyright is not to prevent rival manufacturers from using the same ideas or prevent competition between them ideas are different the images and expressions are completely and exclusively or the uh, features which belong to the person who has actually taken them out from the original ideas so ideas are very common and they are of normal fixed parameters copyright in communication does exist in accordance with its nature and pattern in respect of theoretical theatrical rights you see in respect of uh, theoretical rights rights over exhibition of films in theaters well that is mainly a subject matter of copyright you cannot actually exhibit a, a picture in a theater without getting the permission of the person who has produced the picture in respect of television broadcasting rights the right to exhibit the film on regional tv sets doordarshan etc in respect of satellite broadcasting the right to exhibit or communicate the film by satellite signals to the public either through the cable medium or without it well there is a copyright over those aspects in respect of cable tv rights the right to exhibit the film by means of cable oriented programs well they have got uh, to take the permission from the producer so works over which copyright cannot be claimed 
what are those areas for which copyright cannot be claimed these are the various aspects over which you cannot claim a copyright in case of published work where it has not been first published in india but it is already in circulation a very famous work which is already in circulation the famous kirtanas of tyagaraja mutra mutusami dichada purandar dasa or uh, the works of tagore which has been acquired by the government which has been published and the work that has become very popular so in the case of published work it has not been first published you cannot claim copyright over it it is not uh, your right it is everybody's right in the case of the author of the work is not an indian citizen either at the time of publication or at the time of his death you cannot claim copy copyright over it if the author is somewhere outside in the case of unpublished work other than a work of architecture when the author of such work does not happen to be an indian citizen or a domiciled in india at the time of making such work you cannot claim copyright over it or his work in the case of work of architecture if the work is not located in india copyright shall not exist in any cinematographic film if the substantial part of such film is an infringement of copyright of another work the already there is an infringement over which you want to have another infringement well you cannot definitely infringe the work which is already considered to be an infringement copyright shall not subsist in any sound recording made in respect of literary dramatic or musical work if such work has already been found to be an infringement of the original recording where an author spins out his skill labor capital judgment and literary talents on natural phenomena information and events you cannot claim any natural phenomena that occurs supposing there has been a thunderstorm hail storm there has been a very see photographs are taken over which you cannot take everybody can take that it is every every man's property but if there is anything odd events whether there has been an odd event or whether there has been an extraordinary event or all those things that got to be decided by the layman the artist according to the various parameters prescribed in the copyright act hence in order to claim copyright over any work the following conditions must be fulfilled the work must be original if the work is not copied then it is known as original work second copyright law is there to protect the expression of ideas and not the ideas gopal das versus jagannath prasad then novelty creativity originality of work is the criteria of copyright novelty originality creativity expending the skill and labor on en- on any work is important though may not be original but however any work has been done no copyright can be claimed over a copy of another work copyright emerges out of a statute means enactment copyright is not an actionable claim section 3 of the transfer of property act procedure to be followed for obtaining a copyright this is very very important section 44 it must be made very clear that registration of copyright is only optional unlike patent right copyright need not be actually be done by registration but the main point is if any person has produced any work which is considered to be an original work subsequently if the same work has actually been done by another and if he wants to register the work which has done subsequent to the original work well that work if he registers it well any person who has not registered the prior work he enjoys definitely a superior right over the person notwithstanding the fact the later work might have been registered but if the person who has originally produced that work if he is able to prove priority over the work which has been subsequently done well he can file a suit for infringement the latter person may be an innocent infringer even though he might have innocently infringed the work of the earlier work definitely the person who is able to prove the work has already been undertaken and has completed earlier than the other work he will be able to succeed 
so the registrar has to ensure that any work registered under the act must contain details regarding names the title of the work the names and address of the author publishers and owners who have predominant claim over the copy of the right work the over the over the copyright work so the registrar has got to ensure the name address of the authors publishers and owners who have a predominant claim over copyright work the necessary application for registration of uh, the work has got to be in the prescribed form and it should be attached to the receipt evidencing payment of the prescribed fee as per the copyright act then the application has got to be submitted before the registrar and the application if the application made relates to any artistic work pertaining to any goods such application for registration should be accompanied by a certificate from the registrar of trademarks that the identical or deceptive similar artistic work has not been uh, registered under the trade and merchandise act that you should prove if any uh, mark has actually been added along with the original work that you must be able to prove that uh, that has not been registered under the trademark act registration is not a condition precedent to file an action against infringement of a copyright as i told you just now for example x writes a book titled as nilavu but does not register it why copies it x can file a suit against y for infringement of his copyright and recover damages from y does the case of now satya prakash versus ananda kumar the registrar of copyrights will not enter the details in the register without holding an inquiry examining the bona fides of the applicant that shall be kept in the office of the register uh, of the register a copyrights index as prescribed the register and indexes kept in the office are open for inspection at all times any person on obtaining permission of the registrar is entitled to take copies of the extracts from the register and indexes on payment of such fee prescribed by the registrar particulars as entered on the record in the register are prima facie evidence duly certified by the registrar which is admissible as evidence in a court of law a correction subject to the prescribed conditions in deserving cases after due inquiry the registrar may allow alterations by way of correction of entries as recorded in the registrar by way of rectification in the register by way of rectification such correction may arise due to wrongful omission of certain details which are to be included or may arise on account of deletion of certain entries wrongly made or found to have been already recorded rectification of error or defect in the entries entries as found recorded and rectified in the register shall be published in the official gazette from time to time as prescribed under law steps involved in the procedure of copyright rule 15 to 20 applicant who desires to register his work must be not only be competent and his work must be bona fide capable of being registered second the subject matter to be registered must come under any one of the under the any one of the following heads number 1 literary work other than computer program second musical work third artistic work four cinematographic films five sound recordings and six computer programs so i have already told you the procedure with regard to registration of copyright and that also you can actually take note of it now advantages and benefits arising out of registration of copyrights first and foremost right that arises out of registration is the conclusive proof by way of evidence to reveal or disclose that the true applicant namely the owner of the work it is able to identify as to who has produced the work whether it is the original work and who has been the author of it if anyone desires to rebut this fact 
the owners are burden of proving the fact that the same work has been turned out by the contestant uh, must be proved before the court then the owner of copyright can assign his work either fully or partially third is a right of future work can be assigned but assignment must be effective uh, only by executing a proper deed of assignment assignment of copyrights must be made in writing by a separate document fulfilling the legal formalities disclosing in detail the subject matter of the assignment assignment is nothing but transfer of some rights by the owner to the transferee for a definite purpose no sooner the purpose is over or a period has expired than the owner automatically resumes his right the assignment of copyright in any work shall also specify the amount of royalty payable to the author or his legal representative during the currency of the assignment it is left open to the parties to extend the terms of the assignment or modify it if no period has been mentioned as regards duration of assignment it shall be for a period of 5 years if territorial extent within which the assignment has to operate has not been indicated it shall be presumed to extend to the whole of india according to the latest amendment of 1994 a new section 19a has been included which will come into force with effect from 10th may 1995 as per this section any dispute connected with assignment between the parties shall be adjudicated by the copyright board this copyright board is doing effective service an assignee even after assignment of copyright by the assignor may either fail or omit to exercise his right over copyright not attributable to the act of the assignor in such cases the very assignment will be deemed to be revoked by the assignor by an order passed by the copy board copyright board as regards any other dispute either in relation to the terms and conditions of assignment or royalty the decision taken by the copy board shall be final it can pass such order as to royalty payable to the assignor or cost if any to be paid by the assignee according to section 20 bequest made under a testament by a testator regarding his literary dramatic musical artistic work which work had not been published before the death of the testator could be registered by the legatees or beneficiaries subject to production of legal proof like probate certificate and letters of administration according to section 21 the author of any work over which copyright exists may relinquish or surrender all or any of his rights after giving notice to the registrar of copyrights licenses now right to grant license over copyrights also exists to the owner of the copyright as i told you earlier chief justice wagan observed that a properly possessed license does not create an interest over the property nor transfer or alter the property it only permits the possessor to do an act which if not secured will become unlawful he defines grant as the license which is not only to do an action but also to give a right to enjoy the fruit of such action which is said to be a grant permitting a third party to cut the tree in the owner's land is license but allowing him to carry away the trees cut from the garden is said to be the grant so these are the various aspects on which we have got to study the entire aspects of copyright i'll just uh, conclude here and let us speak about uh, the compulsory license uh, in the copyright work along with uh, uh, what is infringement what are the remedies for infringement and uh, what are the popular ways through which the redress of the person who is the owner could be remedied we'll see it in the next class Thank you.